What's going on, people? Welcome back to the channel. You already know, man. It's your boy. Hey, we back with another video, man. So today's video, man, we're going to be going over three of my favorite optics that I've been keeping in heavy rotation. And let me say, I'm loving them. I have no regrets about these three optics. And let me tell you, those three optics we're going to be talking about today, as you can see, we got some Gideon optics for y'all right here. So you got to go check them out. I'm going to drop the information down below in the link description box, all that good stuff. So before I get into that... Need y'all to drop down below, like, comment, subscribe, hit that button for me. Also, I'm going to drop that link from the Instagram. I need y'all to click that as well. Head over to show me some love. Y'all already know I appreciate y'all for tapping it with me. As always, man, y'all got to hit the post notification. So when I post, y'all be the first ones to know I'm posting something new. And you know, when I post something new in the link description box as well, hey, the daily deals are going to be down there for y'all to go check them out for your next build, next purchase, whatever it is. So those deals down there for y'all. But look, hey, so look, check it out, man. First gun we got up, the first optic is the 43X. You can see it's all clear. We got the judge on here. This is the Gideon judge. Let me tell you. Flawless. Not too big, not too bulky. Perfect. And it fits the 43X. Comes with all the mounting material and everything that you need to mount this optic on here. Um, the plate, I use an Amazon plate called DBB, I think it is. I can't remember. It's It's been a minute since I took this plate off, but that's where I got it from. I got it off Amazon. And basically, it just puts that little, little bit up right there. Then inside of this, they give you a little rubber seal to keep the corrosion out for the battery. That's in there as well. And it's still co-witnesses with, I don't have suppressor high sights, but it's still co-witnesses co perfectly fine. Um, one thing I like as far as looking in this optic is that it's nice and bright. The window has no dis like discoloration. The view of it is perfectly clear. Um, I like that you can adjust it on either side. So if I'm, I'm up like this, too bright, too low, I tap it here to go up. Too bright, I tap it here to come down. And I can still keep my firearm in a point, safe point of direction. And let me tell you, take the same battery as a full-size optic, the 2032, right there. You see that? That's a Gideon Judge. I haven't had too many rounds put through through this because this firearm itself, I really don't shoot that much, but... Once I got it, I had to put it on there, had to give it a try, have to give it a run. If it's, I had to pick up another one of those for another gun, like a Hellcat, if I did get a Hellcat, I definitely would rock one for my Hellcat as well as I have on my 43X. Next one up, we have the Metador, which is my favorite. I'm not going to lie, which is my favorite out of the Gideon optics that they have so far. Um, the reason why I like this one the mess is because... It was it threw me off. It was a mind-blowing optic. It really threw me off. It, like... Caught me by Damn! like caught me by like got him. We fucking got him. Man, I was thinking this optic's gonna be huge when I got it, and when I got it, it was just like I, I I was wrong. I really was wrong about it. So when I put it on my gun and I finally mounted it on, I just was like, this is it. This is perfect. It's been on this gun since I've been carrying this gun mostly like most of the time that I've had the three optics, but I have rotated the three out like maybe every two weeks, stuff like that. I rotate them out every three weeks. Who knows? But I do rotate them out. And this one, as you can see, is the Metador. Y'all know what platform this stands on. It's a Glock 45. I had to give me a, um, I think it's the arc plate for it to work on here. And it's and it dropped right on perfectly, perfectly co witnesses with the optic and the suppressor height sights. Everything is perfect. What threw me off because when I first saw it, I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger, and I'm not mad about how the size came out because it actually came out perfect. This is like I, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, man. So this is like almost the same size as this little optic right here with this bracket on it. You know what I'm saying? It's almost the same size. So it's not even nothing I'm missing out. This is my first enclosed. Um, some people call it a mailbox. Some people call it a, a, a window or whatever. But this is my first enclosed optic that I ever had. First getting an optic that I had purchased. And this was what made me say, oh, yeah, I'm sticking with them. And I have to go get it. Um, it's, it's clear, man. You can change the MOA. You can do crosshairs. Or you can just do a dot. You can do a dot and crosshairs. And the view is like, 
you pick this thing up, boom. It's cool, man. Like, you got to go get you, this. If you buy one of these, this is the first one you got to get right here, the Metador. You got to go get you one of those right off the brakes. Make sure you get the optic plate as well. And everything mounts on a um, G45 uh, arc mount. I think it's the arc mount platform. Anything like that, it will mounts on. It comes with a riser. So I'm going to show you what it looks like with the riser. Y'all can see that right there. It comes with the riser. So you can put this on a PCC. So I need to get like two more of these. I ain't gonna lie to you. I need to get two more because I want to put one on my launcher. Then I got another build in the works right now that it's gonna be a, it's gonna be another nine mil PCC or yeah, a little nine mil PCP that I'm working on AR9 platform type thing. That when I put that together, that Metador is gonna be that that optic for that one for sure off the break. Nothing else. But I'm running with the Gideon Metador on my next build. And that build, that build will be, man, that'll be done soon. Real soon, that build will be done. Um, moving on to my last and final optic from the old, uh, from the good old people at Gideon Optics. We got the Omega. The Omega, different story. Different story across the board. I'm going to tell you why the Omega is a different story across the board. Show y'all right there. We all clear. Y'all see that thing right there? A lot of people say this resembles the SRO, Trajicon. Let me tell y'all, it's up there. It's up there with the uh, SRO. I'm gonna tell y'all why. You know, when I look into optics and, and, and see if my money's gonna be worth the while or it's gonna take my place of whatever optic I have on the farm that I'm building or if I, I'm putting something different on just to give it a run. When I look into buying optics, I look in the quality, the brand, the, the clearness, the function, the everything like that. So the next optic I had tried before I tried the Metador and the Judge was the Omega. The Omega is really, it's really kind of like. All right here then. But the Metador was my first one I actually purchased because this one was out of stock when I went to go buy it. So I had to buy this one because I knew I'd be I'd be satisfied with this, which I'm trying to tell you I am. This is my EDC. I keep this on my EDC. So Met or uh, the Omega. Let me tell you about the Omega. The Omega is ten stars across the board. Well, I'm gonna tell y'all ten stars about that because you can be sitting down, gotta pick up your weapon, boom. The, the view, I don't know if y'all can see that, but the window view, it's almost the same size as the uh, the lens on a GoPro. It's clear, it's super big, um, the light is perfect. Um, one thing about looking for optics, when I'm buying optics for handguns, PCCs, rifles, anything like that, shake away option. Man, the shake away option save you money in the long run for us having to buy batteries, your optic dying out soon and stuff like that. Haven't had any issues with that. I like the shake away option because once you lay this down, once you lay it down, about 10 seconds, 200, it's really on, it's really 220 seconds or something like that. It says it cuts off, that's it cuts off you pick this up boom it's already on you don't have to turn it on turn it off they made it on and stuff like that um another thing i like about gideon's um the, all three of gideon's optics let me tell you i've been carrying all three of these guns in rotation right all three of them people ask me if they see okay this one minimum wear minimum my slide is wearing before the optic is right and I dry fire with this gun a lot. I've dropped that gun before. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with this one. Minimum wear at all. Minimum. The judge. Minimum wear. Minimum wear. The thing I like about getting is optics and the reason why I gravitated to them because the price, the quality, the builds, the the Cerakote itself holds up. I've dropped both. I've dropped my 43 and I dropped my 19. And they both still ain't scratched up. You might got a little scratch, but that's it. They still work perfectly fine. They still holding up, no damaging, no no wiggles. Some people have their little wiggling problems sometimes. No wiggles, no wiggle, no wiggles or nothing like that. Um, the packaging, the quality, the customer service, everything about their product across the board is like A1. And um, 
<laughs> man, I'm trying to tell you, I got more pistols that need optics, so I probably won't get more Gideon optics. I'm probably going to get me, I want to get two more of these. I like the Omega. They just dropped a, a LPVO. You got to go check them out, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, their optics are pretty cool, man. they nice, well put together. Price as well, like I said. You got to go check them out. Um, you, I, I believe if you if you damage them or something happens, I think they will warranty them with no problem. Uh, you just got to hit them up, go over there, show them some love, and they show you some love in return. So look, before I get to anything else, man, I'd like to take the time to say, hey, if you go if you go get you one, you got to go to the website. Sites 87 at checkout will get you some percentage off when you buy one. So they're already discounted. They already discounted on the website. So once you put my promo code in, it discounts them some more. And that's to help y'all out. So y'all got to go check that out. Well, grab you one, I'm saying. Get you one for your birthday, Christmas coming up, whatever you want to do and all that good stuff. Oh, let me tell y'all. They will, I think they're going to be at Pew Party 2. So the link for Pew Party 3 is going to be in my description as well. If you don't know about Pew Party, I'm going to put it. I'm, I'm going to put it brief description in the video of Pew Party. You gotta go check them out. Use my link as well. Get you a ticket to come in. Even if you get general admission, man. Come in there, have a blast. Have some fun. Shoot a bunch of suppressed four auto guns. All that good stuff. You're gonna have good food. You're gonna have helicopters. All your favorite influencers are gonna be there. All that good stuff. So look, I do appreciate y'all for tapping in with me. So look, y'all already know, man. Stay tuned for the next video.